What in the world is going on in Venezuela? That is a question we are not going to definitively answer today, but we're going to do our best. Uh, the inauguration day passed. Uh, Hugo Chavez was not there, who, despite winning the elections, he's very sick, uh, apparently, in Cuba. There is no new government. There is no new election. What do we think is going on here, Will? I think at this point, the most, uh, the, the easiest question to answer is what won't happen. <laughs> okay. Well. And what won't happen is uh, you have seen that the Congress and the High Court have decided not to create a, a medical panel to determine whether Chavez is fit to rule. This means that Congress won't, can't usher in a new, uh, a caretaker government. And by extension, that means that there is no new election coming in anytime soon. So, but Chavez had sort of laid out uh, for the first time, actually, uh, recently, uh, who his, he thought his successor should be. But that person is not really being installed either. Right? Well, that person remains as the vice president, and him and the president of Congress are effectively in control. But until Chavez dies, it seems that there is no chance that there will be a transition toward a new election. So that means that they can keep extending this at, until now the this end is, of the year. I mean, or people more. knew there was going to be some sort of weird interpretations or Chavismo, you know, his, his people were going to kind of take control. But this is even sort of more strange than, than was expected. More right? so, even. A lot of people expected that at some point um, Congress would take over a new administration would take over for, say, three months or more, um, and a new election called in. But apparently that's, that's not the so case. So what's happening with investors on this? Because we're told time and again that the one thing that markets hate is uncertainty, and there couldn't be a more uncertain prognosis than what's going on in Venezuela right now. Right. But it seems like we've got an outlier on that, on that sentiment. Well, what you see is that investors uh, have essentially pushed debt for Venezuela and the, the oil company PDVSA to historic Highs. And um, part of the reason is essentially they don't know what to do with their money. It's, you know, Venezuela is a big play that somehow if you invest in Latin America, you have to have some of that. But it is very pricey right now. It, so the question is, does it make sense to stay there? Why does it um, keep going up though? What is, what is the play? What is the, the bull the case? The idea on that? is that somehow, if even if Chavez goes, if his administration stays, right. or if the opposition comes, um, a new government would handle, you know, the finances better. Um, but that's wishful thinking. I mean, clearly the uh, um, the opposition has lost several elections recently. Right. So there is no real support for a transition, even if a new election comes but in. The one thing we do know is that we don't know anything right now. About what's that going too, on and also, well. and also, it, we should point out that a lot of people expect the economy to somehow go sour. And that, you know, give the opposition sort of a cue to, 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 jump, know, in. to jump in. But, you know, that looks unlikely. They, they grew by 5.5% uh, right. last year. And, you know, even though the um, currency is overvaluated, they have experience adjusting that slightly and then spending more money. Right. So That's the best answer that we're going to get for now on Venezuela. We'll be back with more Breaking Views tomorrow.